Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 21st episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the equip and unequip of our weapons so that we can basically pick up our weapons and showcasing what I have done here in my project. And then you can press uh, B, I have it right now, and it will equip the weapon to your back and then pull it out again and I'll put it to your hand again and it'll also work while you're walking and uh, I don't I didn't have any animations for the waist but I was just testing out multi setting up different slots so basically whatever slots are set it will allow you to equip and equip so there's that and it'll attach to a different slot and you and you can see they're played a different animation this right here is just to showcase that you can do that but uh, I'll definitely be looking into some better animations for waste if I can find some that are also free. So without further ado, we'll get into this, to that. Let's move this over out of my way. Okay, now we have our project. The first thing we're going to want to do is... open up our skeleton so we'll go to our RPG tutorial meshes skeletal meshes character meshes mesh and then we'll open up our skeleton and we'll notice there's a lot of sockets from animations and retargeting that we're not going to need I'm just going to hold control and click on all of these sockets right here that we're not going to need all of these, not going to need. Let's get rid of all of these for now so we're not clogging everything up. So now we have our weapon socket. That's all the extra sockets. So now you want to create a back socket. Okay, so. We want to go to our spine 03 and add a socket and we'll call this socket back socket underscore r this will be the right back socket and the location will have it around i'm just going to move it here for now. And I'm actually going to attach a preview mesh. And I'm just going to go sword. And we'll just use one from the pack that we added since a lot of you won't be using the model that I use, I'm assuming. So we'll just set the rotation for this. Just gonna try putting in the inputs I have exactly, 41.9. Four. Eighty. Seventy nine. Or zero. Keep that up. And then that's definitely going to need to come down, so. Let's put it right there for now. Once we see the animation, we'll be able to get a better idea. And for, and for the waist, we'll just create another socket on the thigh R. Add socket. And this will be waist socket underscore R. Just kind of move that out to there for now. And 
don't think there's any knives or anything, so I'm just going to put a sword. Swing at the rotation. And remember, we have uh, in our data table, we're actually able to set rotation per weapon, per slot, per uh, for each socket. So we won't have to worry too, too much about this. We'll be able to adjust it for each weapon if they do have different rotations need to be in specifically different slots. So that'll do for now for our sockets. Now we want to, we'll just open up our data table. Oops, data. And for our weapon, I'll just show you what I mean here. Sockets, every socket has their own rotation for every weapon. So we can set it up. I'm just going to do the axe. So they the hand, have the hand sockets, the back socket, R, which will be back socket underscore R. And I'm going to wait till I get that in before I set the rotation. Now we're going to want to open up our blueprints components and our combat component. Once we have this open, we'll create two new functions called equip and unequip. Done. And for here, we're going to I'm just going to, if for those of you who changed this, for those of you, some of you did, some of you didn't, I'm just going to change this back to holdable ref. So it makes a little more sense for new people to me, especially later on in the series. So we're going to get our holdable ref. And from here, we're going to get our hold little mesh. Oh. And we're also going to get our character reference and our mesh. So reference to our hold little mesh and our mesh. And we're going to attach component to component. So we're going to attach our holdable mesh to our character mesh. And to get our slot that we're connecting it to, we're going to drag out of our holdable reference and get item details. And I'm going to bring this down some. And then we're going to break item details. Oh, not that. Break item details. And we're going to get our socket details, break that. And we're going to plug in our hand our socket. So when we're equipping our weapon, it will equip it to our hand our socket. And then we want to set that the weapon has been equipped. I'm going to comment this as I'm going along. Attach to and socket. Uh, of char character or AI. Because this will all, because of the way we have this character reference set up, depending on if we feed an AI or a player into it, then it will it for either or so now we can uh, we're also setting this up for our ai later on so that with true i'm also going to just drag this out set relative 
relative rotation and I'm just going to copy all this for now and get rid of the character in that mesh and we'll get that and the hand socket arrow rotation And so basically, now whatever we put in to our rotation for the weapon socket here, it will be set. When we're on a, when we're equipping the weapon, so that's will be taking it off of our back, and I'm just gonna put a return node right there. And for the unequip, I'm going to copy. All of this, I'm going to copy everything out of the equip. Go over to the unequip, paste it in. And first, we're going to create a branch. And from our whole reference, we're going to get our data table, or our item details. Then we're going to break our item details to get our socket details. Because we're going to check if the uh, back slot is set to none, because if it's set to none, that means that it's, that's a waste, uh, waste attachable item, basically. So I'm going to break your socket details. Make some more room here. And we're going to drag out of our back socket. And we're going to type equal name. And we're just going to keep that at none. So we're checking if the back socket is set to none. So it'll, if it's not a back socket, it will, if it is a back socket, we will want to continue over, or actually, we'll, yeah, we'll want to continue over here. And back socket R, so we're doing this, the right socket weapon for now. So now it will attach it to the right socket R and you want to also snap to target snap to target and same thing in your equip your rotation you're going to keep relative so now that we have it attaching to attaching the back socket that we have set here and if it doesn't have a back socket then it will not set it and it will run the false and if it's false we'll also want which first if it's true we'll want to do this tick off whips weapon because we're unequipping the weapon technically we're sending it to our back and we want to get our back socket our rotation so we set that here Let's put that back like that. And now if the back socket is false, simply just going to copy all this up here. 
paste it down here. Drag the false in to the attach. And since this is for the waist socket, because the back socket is none for now, we're just going to set this to the waist socket. Waist socket R. Close that back up. And we'll get the waist socket R rotation. Close that back up. And we can set there. So that's our unequip and our equip function set up. I think I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll deal with setting up the montages for the animations and uh, using these functions to actually equip and unequip our weapon. So if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or join my discord and leave a comment there if you liked the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video